Hi, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting case which is called uh, blepharitis. Here you can see the lashes uh, are there and uh, this area of whitish or yellowish crusting present on the base of the lashes. This is called staphylococcal blepharitis. You need to distinguish from different other types of blepharitis which would include patients having uh, uh, seborrheic blepharitis and then there's another entity which is called posterior blepharitis in which you would uh, have involvement of the meibomian glands. Well, in staphylococcal blepharitis, what you would see is associated inflammation of the lid margin as well. So if we look at this lid margin over here, you will see that this lid margin is going to be inflamed. This area seems to be reddish looking in this area, which it needs to be red. And this tells you that this patient has got a blepharitis, which is involving the lid margin over here. So this is the important part of this Staphylococcal blepharitis compared to uh, seborrheic blepharitis. And patients having seborrheic blepharitis might also have dandruff in their head as well. So patients with seborrheic blepharitis would complain of uh, continuous burning sensation in the eye, grittiness, because some flakes of the blepharitis, they fall into the conjunctival sac and produce inflammation. So it's very important to identify this disease early so that it prevents, to prevent it causing chronic conjunctivitis. Sometimes you can cause a marginal keratitis or ulcer formation of the cornea as well in this patient. So the main complaint, burning, irritation, and these uh, ugly looking crusts on the surface of the lash margin. If they are left untreated, what will happen? It will lead to loss of lashes, which is called madarosis, and it looks pretty bad for the patient. So it's very important to pick it up early. So madarosis is one thing. Then you can have abnormal lashes coming out from the, from the lid margin, from the meibomian gland orifices, and those are called trichiasis, or they can be called metaplasia of the meibomian gland as well. Trichiasis would be uh, sort of misdirected lashes pointing backward. And they can be secondary to this chronic inflammation. The third thing which can happen is the lid margin can become very irregular. So it becomes irregular because of chronic scarring that happens in these patients. So how will you treat these patients? The treatment, the first treatment is lid scrubs. And before, if you've got such a thick lid margin, what would you do for a lid scrub? You obviously need to soften these crusts. And for that, you will use... Uh, sort of moist cotton, uh, which is it's, uh, slightly warm so that it can uh, soften that area of the crust. And once that area of crust is softened, then you can use, you can uh, put water in the cap of uh, a, a baby shampoo and then put three or four drops of the baby shampoo and then use Q-tip to uh, scrub the lid margin gently and get rid of these crusts. Sometimes you might have to hold um, a tweezer just to get those uh, uh, crust uh, sort of remove these crusts from the base of the lashes because sometimes they get very chronically attached to that and that and sometimes when you remove those crusts you might get slight oozing from the base so don't worry about that and once you remove that crust then the next thing is to put ointment on the base of the lashes the ointment can be an erythromycin ointment a tropromycin ointment and if you've got inflammation of the lashes associated with the uh, redness or erythema of the lid margin then you also need to use um, topical mild steroids as well. Sometimes if you get uh, chronic uh, clasion or sty formation along with that, you might need oral antibiotics. So there are multiple things which can happen with this. So you need to pick it up early and treat it early. And sometimes the predisposing cause is seborrheic blepharitis in these patients. And what you need to tell the patients is that dandruff or seborrhea never go away. So you need to incorporate into your sort of habits of every day that you need to clean the lashes while you're having a shower and use uh, diluted shampoo, baby shampoo, which does not irritate the eyes, and then clean the base of the lashes every day. If there's chronic infection, you can use uh, uh, ointment, uh, antibiotic ointment, especially in patients who get recurrent clasia or sty formation. So thank you very much for watching.